Missouri's real estate market was fairly stable in 2011, but what will the new year bring? Here to tell us, Mike Bucci of Bucci Developments. Uh, very nice to have you here. Thanks for coming in, Mike. Thanks for having me. Uh, always a good topic to talk about in this city, but let's start with prices. We had the city sending out uh, its assessments this week, and their figures showed a 3% drop in 2011. So do you expect that trend to continue, or do you expect to see prices start going the other way in 2012? Uh, I think on the multifamily side right now, we're seeing some of the slack being taken out of the market. Uh, Developers are able to buy construction at reasonable costs and land values are still a little depressed from the recession. So th there's a short term drop in value. Uh, long term, I think uh, if you look at the job growth and the uh, office absorption, it's going to go north. Okay, and let's talk about overall sales. I think those were up uh, again last year, and you do expect that trend to continue. Absolutely. We did our internal forecast, and we think 2012 can be actually quite a good year for condos in Calgary. There's a lot of different forces at play right now. The biggest one, of course, is jobs. There is so much growth there. There's also a demographic thing happening right now. For the first time, we're seeing uh, empty nesters sell the single family home out in the suburbs, buy a condo downtown, and also pick up a vacation home in the U.S. Sunbelt. Right. So that's uh, something I think developers are retooling for this new buyer. The third thing we're also seeing is some municipal policy. City of Calgary is really pushing growth in the downtown core for more efficient distribution of services like fire and sewer and what have you. So what's that looked like? Has that been more of, uh, because we, we've certainly heard a lot of talk about new fees being levied on some of the, the development happening in suburbs. So is that one of the ways that's being encouraged by the city or how are we seeing that sort of, are they changing zoning? Like what's exactly happening by the city? To the, Calgary is becoming a very sophisticated city. It's a major player now in North America. And during this transition period, the city is trying to encourage that growth downtown. They do that by upzoning downtown, uh, realizing that, that these buildings are a way uh, more efficient way of uh, adding density and stopping the urban sprawl. And so in terms of areas that we'll be looking at uh, to see that increased growth, you're looking at mostly central and mostly sort of multi? Mostly central is the big one and then anywhere on the LRT. Okay. Yeah. Um, there was a time, I remember doing a number of stories on this sort of after the boom when things really sort of dropped off where, um, and as I understood it, it's because housing projects take about six months, whereas a condo project, maybe it's more two, three years sort of in the works. But mm -hmm. we had quite a discrepancy in terms of the pricing around condos and the pricing around um, single family homes where it was a great deal to buy a condo for quite a period of time there as that slack did get picked up. Mm -hmm. What are we seeing now? Are, are we more aligned with sort of the real estate across the board or do we it's, still see that that discrepancy it's very true developers are poor at coordinating with each other and when they see an opportunity they do all sort of rush in at once and start building and because there is that lag time in delivering condos you do get a discrepancy today's market I don't think that's there um, today's market is really driven by fundamentals there's not that speculation that was here in 2003 to 2007 um, I think we are entering a really strong growth phase and we're that's single family as well uh, you, you mentioned a little bit about vacation property in the Sunbelt. We don't have a ton of time left, but just touch on vacation property. Are we seeing uh, more desire for that as well? Uh, absolutely. We're in an inflection point in the market here where uh, uh, Calgary single-family homeowner can still get good value from their home in the market. Uh, they can also get great value buying a condo downtown. But what's really driving the market is that the U.S. Sunbelt is incredibly depressed. You can pick up a very nice property for a quarter million, half a million dollars, buy a condo downtown, still put some money in your jeans. That's a very rare window of opportunity. Good stuff, Mike. Uh, Mike Bucci, Bucci Developments. Very nice to, to have you here. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks very much. Always like talking real estate, right, Todd? One of our favorite topics. I know you and I go back and forth multiple times.